What's going on guys? Stefan with you, s &E's Garage. Today we're in the garage with our 2007 Camry and we're going to be starting the process of flushing this transmission. Now this transmission is equipped with what's called WS transmission fluid. It is supposed to be a lifetime fluid. Um, I use lifetime very lightly. Lifetime does not mean life of the car, it means life of the unit. Um, so if you want your transmission to last the life of the car or close to it, you're going to want to service it. Now, I have no service records of this transmission ever being serviced. I bought the car with 159,000 miles on it, and I've now got over 180 on it, but it's all highway. The fluid is still on the red side. You can see if I put it on this white sticker, but it's starting to get a little dark. So we're going to do basically, we're going to do three drain and fills on this thing and we're going to get that fluid nice and pink. Now, you might be asking yourself, hey Stefan, what about that transmission filter? I'm of the mindset that that filter should last the life of the unit. I know I'm contradicting myself between the fluid and the filter, but hear me out here. If you keep your transmission serviced and you keep that fluid clean, there's no reason that transmission filter should clog. There's only two things that's going to clog that filter, and it's sludged fluid or it's clutch material. And if you have enough clutch material falling into that pan to clog that filter, you've got a little more problems than just the service. So we're not going to be dropping the pan. We're not going to be going crazy. We're just going to do three drain and fills. I'm going to capture a little bit at a time for each drain and fill, and we're going to compare the colors as we go. Now, if you're not sure what type of transmission fluid your car uses, uh, you're going to either want to check your owner's manual, or sometimes it's even on the dipstick. Like my dipstick right here, if you can see it, I don't know if you can see it if it focuses. It says type WS right on it. And then on here it'll say no need to replace ATF under normal driving conditions. Like I said, uh, that's for the life of the unit, not for the car. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, like I said, we're going to get this thing serviced. So we're going to jack the car up, get it up on jack stands. All data says that this thing takes 3.7 quarts for a drain and fill. We have 4 quarts of Toyota Lexus WS transmission fluid. What I like to do when I do my drain and fills is I'll capture obviously everything that I drain and I'll pour it into an old oil container here. We have one of our old Castrol oil containers from when we changed the oil on this car. And we're going to pour that into here and we're going to measure exactly how much we took out and we're going to put that back in just to start. And that's why I like to do my transmission services cold because it's got cold fluid in it now and I'm going to be putting cold fluid back in it. So our measurement, what we drain and what we put back in should be a very good baseline to then fine tune exactly how much is supposed to be in this transmission. Now this transmission in this car was built right around the changeover from when Toyota switched to WS fluid. So luckily we still have a dipstick. Uh, the V6 version of the Gen 6 Camry, which is 2007 to 2011, uh, used the U660 E transmission. They do not have a dipstick. They actually have a standpipe in the, in the transmission pan that basically when you fill your transmission up, the fill is on the side of it. You fill it, start it, let it run, get it to a certain temperature, and then you open the drain for that stand plug and you drain it until it just starts to trickle. Uh, luckily, we don't have to do that on this. We do have a dipstick. Uh, they used WS transmission fluid starting with the 2005 Avalon, I want to say, is the first year they used WS um, in a Toyota. That did have a, a dipstick, but going forward, they started to eliminate the dipstick. So luckily, like I said, we have one. It's going to be nice and easy. So on this specific car, you're supposed to fill it through the transmission dipstick tube you're going to want to make sure you have a, a transmission funnel that will fit into the dipstick tube like this. Um, if your car has a different fill method, maybe you might need like a fluid pump or some other type of you know, pump or, or hose to get to the fill. Just make sure you figure that out before you drain it because that's kind of important. You don't want to drain it if you can't fill it. Alright guys, so we got the car jacked up by the front subframe and we do have jack stands under both front uh, pinch welds so we're good there. So the next thing you're going to want to do is get under here and find your transmission pan which is right here. You can tell it's the transmission because you have the two axles going in on either side so you know that's your trans and then you're going to want to find your drain plug which is right here and on this car it just happens to be a 10 millimeter allen wrench that we're going to need to go ahead take that off. I have a socket 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get my ratchet. We're gonna crack this loose. We're gonna capture a little bit of it so I can show you how it looks. And uh, we're just gonna let it drain, fill it back up. Now it is worth mentioning that you should have a new crush washer to replace on this drain plug. Being that I'm doing three drain and fills on this, we're not gonna replace it until the last one because it doesn't make sense. We're just gonna waste money. So we're gonna go ahead and crack this loose. I'm gonna collect a little sample of it on the way out. I'm gonna show you how it looks. All right guys, so this is what we captured on our first drain. You can see it is pretty dark, but if you shake it around and look what's on the bottle, it is still red, so it is by no means burnt yet, uh, but it was definitely ready for a change. So we're gonna let this drain until it drains to a drip. We're gonna measure exactly what we took out and we're gonna put that in to start. Like I said, we're gonna use that as a baseline and we're gonna go from there. The spec on all data calls for 3.7 quarts for a drain and fill, so I've already got four quarts lined up here. Um, I do need to keep in mind that I did steal a little bit from my drain. So we'll see exactly where we're at here. We'll add a little bit to it and uh, we'll see where we're at. All right guys, so like I said, the spec for this was 3.7 quarts and we got almost exactly 3.7 quarts uh, minus what I captured over here. So we're gonna start with three and a half. I'll go a little more than three and a half. We'll do almost four quarts, start it, check it, see where we're at. So we're in the middle of filling this thing and I just want you guys to take note of the color of WS fluid when it's new. It is bright, bright red. And you'll see, as I showed you, the fluid that we took out was much darker than this. So towards the end of this, like I said, we're gonna do three drain and fills. I'm probably gonna spread it out over a week, two weeks. Um, I'm gonna have a little container of fresh fluid next to everything we've drained. And you'll see that the last drain should be very close to what new fluid looks like. And that's what you want, you wanna flush most of the fluid out of the trans, but you don't want to do it all in one shot. I like to just do three drain and fills, let it circulate through the trans and, and do it that way. That way you know you're getting everything out of the valve body. You know, you're, you're cleaning everything out with this fresh fluid. Transmission fluid is very high in detergent, so it is a cleaner, it will clean things. All right, so we put a little bit more than 3.7 quarts. We put right about, like I said, what we drained so we're going to go ahead, we're going to get this car down, we're going to clean, you know, get the funnel out, put the dipstick back, get it back on the ground, and we're going to go ahead and take it for a ride around the block just to let that new transmission fluid circulate through everything. And then we're going to check the fluid level. We want to try to get it warm before we check it because you're supposed to check it when it's warm. So we're just going to take it for a ride, get it hot, get it warm, and uh, see where we're at and make any adjustments uh, at that time if we need to. All right, guys, so we just took the car for a 10-minute or so drive. Got it warmed up. We're gonna go ahead, check that transmission fluid level. Wipe it clean. And it's a little bit low. You can see on the dipstick, it's supposed to be in between these two notches. So we're just gonna give it a little, uh, a little swig, top it off. And uh, we're going to call that good. Now, like I said, we're going to give it about a week. We're going to drive the car. We're going to do this a second time, see what we drain out, do it a third time. And if necessary, we might do it a fourth. We want this fluid to look like fresh fluid, and then we're going to maintain it and keep it that way. So we'll be back with you next week. We're going to do another drain, and we'll see where we're at. What's up, guys? We're back. It's been about a week I've been driving this thing after the first drain and fill. Like I told you last time, uh, ATF is very high in detergent, so I wanted to give the fresh fluid a chance to go through and clean some stuff before I drained it again. Uh, so I probably put four or 500 miles on the car. I did at least a tank of gas. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do the second drain. I do have a clear water bottle that we're gonna use to capture that. Like I said, here is our first drain. You can see it's pretty dark, but it's still red. So we're gonna grab our second drain. We're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna capture it. Um, I wanted to address something that I, that I had mentioned earlier about the uh, transmission filter because I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of questions about that. Um, in my opinion, there's no need to change that filter if you have your transmission maintained regularly. If you change the fluid often enough, there's never going to be any sludge buildup down in that pan to, to cause you to have to change that filter. Because the transmission isn't like an engine. It doesn't make any combustion bribe, you know, byproducts. And it's not, it's not drawing in and burning things. It's just sitting there spinning. 
Uh, so the only thing that can clog that filter, like I said, is going to be clutch material or sludge. And if your transmission is running well, shifting well, um, there shouldn't be enough clutch material down in that pan to clog that filter. Now, if I'm going into the transmission for any reason, maybe I'm changing a solenoid or maybe my transmission pan gas gets leaking. And, uh, you know, if I have that pan down, yes, while I'm in there, 100%, I'm going to change the filter. But there's no reason just when doing, you know, routine maintenance to change that filter. So, like I said before, we're not going to do that. So what I have here, again, is four quarts of Toyota or Lexus uh, WS. I actually found that left over from when I had my Avalon, so we're going to go ahead and use that. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go under there, drain it. I have my drain pan down there already. I have my uh, Allen key, and I have a water bottle. We're going to capture that. We'll see how it looks. All right, guys, so here she is. She's draining. We got our second sample there. We're going to go ahead, let this finish draining, and we're going to fill it up with 3.7 quarts. All right, guys, we got a drain plug gasket. Drain plug in. We got our dipstick out. We're going to put our fluid in, and we're going to shake it all about. All right, we're going to do this four more times, take it for a ride, check the level. All right, we got our four empty bottles of WS here, and I just want to compare the first drain. You can see, pretty dark, but you're going to notice the second drain is quite a bit lighter. So the third drain in another week should be even better. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour a little bit of each one on a white piece of paper and we're going to compare them uh, at the end of this test. So we got this thing nice and full. We're going to go ahead, take it for a ride, verify our levels, and drive it around for another week and repeat. All right, guys, it's been about another week of driving here with our 07 Camry, and we're here and ready to do our third drain and fill, third and final on this uh, transmission, get the fluid nice and clean. We have over here our first... On our second drains, we're going to pour a little bit each on a white piece of paper. And I'm going to show you guys the progress that we've made. So let me get the cardboard under here, start getting this draining. We'll grab a little sample of that. We'll line them all up. All right, so we've got her broken loose. Let's open this up. Start draining it. sample here. All right. Let's see where we're at. All right, guys, so here you have it. Here's our first, second, and third drain and fills. You'll see there's not that big of a difference between the second and third. This fourth time we're filling it up here should make a nice, uh, a nice difference, and we should be left with nothing but nice, clean, pink transmission fluid. So let's get it filled up, check the level, take it from there. Alright guys, we got our third drain and fill done. Each drain and fill was 3.7 quarts, so round up to 4 quarts. We put 12 quarts through this transmission of fresh WS Toyota Trans Fluid, but like I said before, we did it over a three week period. We did one drain and fill once a week until the fluid came out nice and clean. Uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to take the car for a ride, heat this fluid up, we're going to check the level. I went a little bit on the light side when I filled it up this time. I only put in three and a half quarts because this is going to be my final uh, fill. And I'd rather it be underfilled than overfilled because I can always add some, but it's a pain in the ass to take some away. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to drive it. We're going to check the level. I'm going to show you the fluid on the dipstick. That way you can see how nice and clean it is. Um, and this is the best way to do it, especially if you have a higher mileage car. Um, I wouldn't just flush it. I would, you know, drain and fill, drain and fill, drain and fill until the fluid's nice and clean. Uh, so let's get it off the jack stands, take it for a ride, see how the fluid looks, and top it off if necessary. Alright guys, so we're here in the 07, just trying to warm up this transmission fluid. You don't really got to do anything special, just take it out for a 10-15 minute drive. And, uh, you know, run it through the gears. You don't have to do anything crazy, but let it, you know, let it shift nice and easy. You know, let it do its thing. Now hopefully, as you did your first, second, and third drain and fill, you would have noticed some sort of shift quality improvement as you go on. 
Uh, this car did not have any shifting issues, but I, I do notice a difference that the transmission just seems to be happier with the fresh fluid in it. Uh, so let's go ahead, get back to the house. We're going to check the fluid level and adjust as needed. All right, guys, we're back from our ride here. We got the transmission nice and warm. I'm just going to put you down right here. We're going to check the transmission fluid. All right, so we're gonna give it another little splash. It's a little low, but I do wanna show you the difference in the transmission fluid. This is where we're at now. It's got nice fresh fluid in it. This thing's ready to go for another 60,000 miles. So please, if this helped, like, share, subscribe. We basically just serviced our transmission. We did a full, basically a flush on it uh, with nothing more than you know your average hand tools at home, no special service tools. So hopefully this is good, get you going. We'll see you on the next one.